this is just this is the end of a lot of food you know we can't live without the bees but here they are killing them all 30 minutes the dpi is showing up and they're going to pour 250 milliliters of petrol in each one of our hives or 17 of them we're going to lose them all we tested them for veromite they don't have any they didn't test it they're just coming here to destroy them i don't care we need people to know what they're doing they're killing innocent bees this is just wrong every couple of months dpi the department of primary industries who are looking after all the bees in the new south wales area are coming in and testing now um, i'll pop up a map of where we are and the locations we are in the purple zone we can still harvest honey um, which we have but we are pretty much surrounded by the, by the red zone the red zone is the destroy zone um, that means that varroa mite has been founded in that area and the hives within a 10 kilometer radius are, are all being destroyed as, as of monday the dpi have told us that they're coming in they're going to put a bait in all our hives which if we do have any varroa mite they'll put a bait in put a sticky pad at the bottom of the um, beehive this is as far as i'm aware i'm not sure we will record this as it happens so you'll probably see some of that in this video uh, later on so basically what they're supposed to do is come in put the sticky pad the poison in sticky pads at the bottom and then the varroa they come back four days later the varroa might if there is any in the hives is supposed to die from that poison drop down to the sticky pad and then they take that sticky pad off away uh, four days later and analyze it to see if we've got anything now i have our um, methylated spirits and i have jars of 18 17 jars i think it is or 18 i can't remember how many we've got out how many hives we've got out here but i am doing my own wash before these guys come in on monday the 20th of march i want to do our own test to make sure that we don't have any varroa mite and i will keep all the samples of every single hive that i'm going to um, test for the purpose that i don't trust anybody i don't trust the government <laughs> and i sure as hell don't trust anyone to be looking after our interests here oh and on a side note i just wanted to say that the rest of the world has varroa mite and they've all learned to control it when we find varroa mite here the Department of Primary Industries, DPI, are destroying all the bees. So I want to know where all the vegan people are and, and all the um, environmentalists that are against animals being destroyed. Why are they not questioning this? Why are we destroying animals and bees when we can control it? Why are we destroying our beehives and not treating them? But I am keeping a record of what we're doing for the purpose of informing everybody of what's going on, um, especially here in New South Wales and Australia. It's not on the news anymore. No one's telling you that there's a varroa mite and no one's telling you that the bees are being destroyed. Uh, so, yeah, I want to get this out to as many people as possible. I want everyone to know about what's going on. And, yeah, so by all means, share this about. Let everyone know what's going on. We had no varroa mite come up in any of our washes. We reported that to the DPI and they, after several emails and phone conversations, they had said that they're going to come out and do a test anyway. Uh, we asked for the permit. My husband checked the permit. There was no mention of any sticky pads in the permit, so we actually questioned that in regards to um, yeah, why in the permit they have not put the um, the sticky pad situation in there. Questioning the legality of the actual permit. Within 15 minutes of that, we have an email come to us saying, look, you're in the red zone now. Too bad for you. We'll be in contact with you in regards to when we will be eradicating your beehives. So, that was it we literally had no case nobody's come out here at all no one from the dpi has come out to test our hives our friends up the road have got bees they came up clear as well um yeah we actually don't know where the bees are that have been tested positive so it was like out of nowhere that we've been notified to say that we have 
been put into the red zone. So too bad for us, um, we are now in the red zone and our bees are going to be destroyed. So it is Easter weekend. We got a letter on Thursday that says we're coming to your place on Tuesday to destroy your bees. Yeah, they haven't checked our hives. They just said we're in the red zone, we're coming to destroy it. A couple of things that we are concerned about is that we have heard that they just pour petrol straight onto the hive and then wrap it up. One thing we don't do is we don't use any chemicals on our property at all. We are beyond organic. We don't need to spray anything. We have a 25 acre food forest. We have large gardens. We don't pollute the environment. We don't pour petrol all over our property to eradicate beehives that don't even have the varroa mite in them situation where we have to just go along with it and let these guys come along and, and destroy our bees. Well, we'll bring you along and you guys can, I'll show you what they do exactly when they start destroying millions of bees. We've proven that we have no varroa mite in our hives. They don't even test it. In fact, they're here to just destroy it. They come here, they've got their petrol, they're pouring it into our hives, they're wrapping them and leaving them and then they're coming to collect them. The government doing this. The government doesn't want us to eat and they're doing this. They're killing all the hives in the mid north coast, the central coast, all the way from Sydney upwards. They're just blanketing it and then they're going to start spraying the air. They've already got this stuff ready. They're doing this and they're doing it to wipe out your pollination. They don't care about you. They care about their money. They care about destroying us. Push this out. We really need to show what the hell they're doing. They test people around here without their old might and they still killed their hives. They didn't even test our hives and they're just killing them. They, they haven't even, get the heads. They haven't even tested for something they're killing. That makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. They're just trying to kill the bees. That's all they're doing. Right, so we can just put um, some tape around them. So, um, so we'll take the end locks off and um, we'll wrap them uh, with some, it's like a pallet wrapping, we'll wrap them around and then we'll leave them here. Okay, what we'll do is, um, and I'll ask you this, do you guys want to get involved with the euthanizing or just want to stay out of it? I'll stay out of it. Okay, that's all right then. Yep. Okay. Because sometimes beekeepers want to help them do what, you know what I mean? So yep. it's just, yep. we just block the fronts off and we put a cup of petrol in. That's normal. We'll just remove them off site and then we don't have to come back and mess around. There we go. There's your conspiracy theory for you. I've got bee tattoos all up my arm. I love the bees. I'm not here for money. I'm here for them. Guys, we just, I want to give you an update. We are in Australia. We are in New South Wales. We do not have the Varroa mite. We were placed in the red zone. This is what's actually happening. We're showing you exactly what they're going to do here.
one hive down. 16 more to go. Okay guys, you're probably wondering what's going on and basically even though we don't have the Varol Mite, the Varol Mite is in Australia and we're in the 10 kilometre radius so they're pouring 250 millilitres of petrol in each one of the hives, wrapping it up and killing all of our bees, even though they, we tested them for not having Varol Mite. It's a very heartbreaking moment but we're bringing you guys along so please share, like, get this out there. You guys are doing an amazing job. Thank you for the support. Um, this is just dreadful and we need people to wake up and realise what they're doing. This is just, this is the end of a lot of food. You know, we can't live without the bees, but here they are killing them all. Right, well. and hard so no I don't expect anyone to stay here. to go on this area um, let's bring you in a bit closer so you can see what what the heck they're gonna do open the lid I'll take the lid off you ready you got smoke all the way nice and quick Ventilation from the top of the This is the number sixth one that they're just about to euthanize. They open up and then they just pour petrol in there. Might just block these holes up. Petrol is not the right insecticide, no. We have uh, another 11 hives over the other side to do. Guys, I am not hanging about. I don't want to watch this anymore. I can't do it. Um, I wanted to bring you guys along just to show you what, what the process is. And this is the process. Um, I just, I can't do this anymore. So, wow. we've shown you the six hives that they've done. And, thanks guys for watching. Thank you James. for watching guys. And as you can see, this was the, um, yeah, this is the process of them uh, destroying our hives that don't even have their on mind. This is the process they're doing there. They haven't um, tested. They haven't tested. We tested. We came up clean. No testing, 30 minutes notice, and you know, we're all emotionally distressed from this, emotionally drained. It's absolutely devastational. It's, you know, it's been like this for months, worrying and worrying and worrying about our bees and trying our best to do what we can to save them because they have no reason to die. Why are they coming in with 30 minutes notice and killing our bees? Why are they doing this? 